My brothers and my sisters, we're back. Good to see y'all. Been making my way around slowly to all your schools and I do look forward to seeing you guys in person. Hey, I got a question for you. Can you spot the difference between these two pictures? I'm gonna give you 15 seconds. Have a look, see how many differences you can spot. All right, like that was way too quick to spot all 11 differences. But did you see anything different between the two pictures? Did you spot one or two, maybe four or five? There's something different. And that's exactly what St. Paul is telling us about today in this 22nd Sunday of Ordinary Time. So we missed a bunch of weeks with summer break and everything else, but we're back and we're in Ordinary Time in the church year and we are on the 22nd Sunday. And St. Paul is writing to the people of Rome, the Christians in Rome particularly. And this is what he has to say to them about being someone different. This is a reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. I appeal to you, therefore, my brothers and my sisters, by the mercies of God, present yourself, your bodies, as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You see, when you take up the work of God, when you live life like Jesus lived, when you become like Jesus, slowly, piece at a time, let's be honest, this is a slow process, you are different, okay? And you should stand out. If we put a whole bunch of people together and we let them interact, we should be able to pick out who is following Jesus just by the way that they act. They're transformed in some way and it's measurable it's noticeable by the rest of the world it should be if it's not there's a problem okay? and that's what saint paul is saying don't be conformed to this world this is a great message at the beginning of the year okay beginning of the school year we've all got different ways of relating to the people around us like some of us want to blend in I like blending in. Camouflage is my favorite color. But some of us just want to blend right in. Some of us want to stand out. But what St. Paul is saying is whatever you do, don't just conform to what the world says you should be. So there is a way that you should be when you love God, and when you follow God's ways that should stand out. And you might say, well, what, like, what are God's ways that St. Paul is talking about? You might discern what is the will of God. Well, what's the will of God? Like, who knows what that is? Well, he's told us very clearly what it is. He says, follow Jesus. Look what Jesus does, okay? God says through the prophet Micah, he says exactly what he wants. He says, act justly, love kindness, and walk humbly with me. That's what God wants. That's his will. And we watch that acted out in life. Of Jesus. So at the front end of this year, here it is, outside in. How do you stand out in a way that reflects Jesus? Maybe you don't even believe, but come on. You, you have to work pretty hard to deny that Jesus loved people really well. And you could do that too. So how are you going to do it? How are you going to do it this year? How are you going to avoid just conforming to what the world is telling you should be? And how are you going to stand out loving like Jesus? That's our challenge. Here we go. I'm ready. Let's give it a shot. Love you all. Good to see you. We'll uh, see you soon around your schools. Catch you in the next one.